So this is the EMERALD trial, which is a phase three clinical trial that looks at uh, the, uh, the oral SIRD elisastrant compared to standard of care endocrine therapy in patients with metastatic estrogen receptor positive breast cancer. So on that clinical trial, which was presented at uh, the San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium in 2021, it showed that elisastrant uh, was uh, improved outcomes, uh, especially progression-free survival in patients with uh, metastatic uh, ER-positive breast cancer compared to standard of care endocrine therapy, which was either an aromatase inhibitor or fulvestrin. So on this paper, we're looking at a subgroup of patients that did not receive chemotherapy. The inclusion criteria for elisastrant were uh, either patients that had received one or two endocrine therapies in the metastatic setting, one had to be a CDK4-6 inhibitor, but patients that had received one prior chemotherapy were allowed to, to enroll on the, on the trial. But the subset analysis that we presented today was uh, not including the chemotherapy patients. It only included the patients that had received one or two prior endocrine therapies. And what we found was pretty similar results to what we found with the overall patient population that elisastrant improves progression-free survival in either the intention to treat patient population or in patients with uh, mutations in their ESR1. So the implication is we based especially on the, on the overall results of uh, the, uh, the Emerald trial that elisastrant is superior as endocrine therapy in metastatic uh, hormone receptor positive breast cancer. And that superiority is not just in uh, patients that receive an aromatase inhibitor, but also fulvestrant, not just in patients that have received one prior chemotherapy regimen, but also in patients that are chemo naive. And, and so this is a registrational trial we're, we're uh, going to have the FDA look at elisastrant, hopefully, potentially approve it for use, and then we'll be able to use it in metastatic uh, uh, HR-positive patients.